light, light whiff of a breeze as Marcella Tonioli from Italy. One of the top Italian archers and has been for the last five, six, seven years. Marcella Tonioli coming out for her match. And let's tell you a little bit about Marcella Tonioli. Marcella, 30 years old, fifth in the world, 9.4 points per arrow. 56 wins in her career, a 63% win percentage. And she's good in shoot off. She's won six of those. And she will face Lily Shanu Nam of India, the only Indian archer who has made it to the World Cup Finals here in Wodensa, Denmark. And a good look at Lily Shanu Nam. 28 years old, ranked 20th in the world. 9.4 per arrow. Top qualifying score in her career of 695, and she has 15 match wins to her credit. These two have faced off before in 2016, and it was Marcella defeating Lily Shanu Panam by five points in a quarterfinal match on the World Cup circuit earlier this season. So Italy on target number one, India on target number two. Second match of the day, just moments away in case you're just joining us. I'm Carl Arke along with Torben Johansson of Denmark. As we get set now for Marcella and Lily. Tony Oli toes the line. Yes. What a great start. Yeah. In my opinion, that's a perfect start. It's it's a 10, but it's just about the X ring, the middle ring of the 10. And uh, that means that if she gets a little bit nervous, no, if she gets a little bit, aha, I'm going to get beaten by it. A little bit sloppy in her uh, execution of the shot. She can drop a little bit, yes. but stay in the 10, mm -hmm. which is what's, yeah. well, she doesn't really drop much here. No, not That's much at awesome all. awesome shooting, this one. <laughs> but. If she gets there and uh, the nerve starts playing her a little bit, she can actually drop quite a bit uh, and still get the 10. Eight. And now Lily Shanupanam trying to find her range, yeah. work things out in her own mind, but Marcella Tonioli has come out ready to go. A pair of 10s, one an X-10, yeah. and that one was close. So a great. I think it's middle nine. Yeah, great opening. Yeah, that's awesome shooting. It's such a nice group, and actually groups are what we're shooting for. Uh, during <laughs> practice, you could say, well, I don't care if I shoot a, a group in the eight, as long as I got three or, or six arrows touching each other, because then it's all about sighting in the, uh, the sight. No. It does indicate. So, it, it does indicate quite a bit, doesn't yeah. it? So uh, it's all about getting these tight groups. That's what we want to see especially in compound uh, because uh, the points are normally very very close and uh, yeah i don't know if you you archers that maybe not have done that much competition but if you saw the score line in the bottom right now you see lily has a nine and a mark a star on the top of it and that means that the judges it's too close to the line so they can't call it they don't know if it's a nine or a ten so that's why we get this little star on the top of the of the score so at least she's getting a nine but now the judge is going in and calling the errors on the target and we see if if she gets one point more or she stays on the nine and actually i think they did deduct one point, so she has 26 points, Lily Shanu Panam of India, as opposed to the 29 points awarded to Marcella Tonioli of Italy. 
and experience doesn't always determine the outcome, but it, boy, it is a big, big advantage to have that going for you. And here in the first two matches, you've seen what a difference already it the, gives the experience you makes. So much calm shooting the next three arrows. And uh, she started, now the archer with the lowest point is shooting first. And it's just nice to see the other one going out there because you know you're ahead. I stand corrected. They actually awarded more points to Lily Shanu. So she got a 10. She did get a 10, so nice. she has 28 points. That's good. Spoke too soon. 29-28, a one-point advantage for Marcella Tonioli. So as well as Marcella shot in that opening end, she has just that one slim point lead, but, but it is a lead. Yeah. I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the strength of the archer here. You got Tony Oli and you, you watch the side kicker and her front step. They got a lot of weight on it and it really demands a strong person to, to hold that up. The, the thing about it is the heavier the bow is, the harder it is to move out of the Center. Mm -hmm. So uh, more stability. More stability, and um, yes. Tony Oli always been a very strong yeah. shooter, yeah. and I think that's what always brought her to the top archers in all the competitions she's been in. Later on, we'll see uh, in the men's competition Real Wild, who is yeah. shooting extremely heavy. So for you folks that don't shoot, have a look at the bows when they when they draw it back and you can see how much metal that's yes. put on on the end of the stabilized aces. Takes a lot of strength. Yeah. Tony Oli might have a pair of tens. We'll have to wait and see. That asterisk that Torben was talking about. Place next to that nine. No doubt about that shot by Lily Shanu Panam. Beautifully done. Two tens to finish off the second end for the Indian Archer, bidding to make a comeback. And might be tied and is tied. No, excuse me, Marcella. Well, at least, yes, we look at that score. I would score. say she got three tens. She's got that three tens. Sure. She may have three tens. Yeah. So both of these ladies doing an outstanding job here through the first two ends. Lili Shanu Panam, there's Marcella Tonioli, who in 2016, we said, did defeat Lili Shanu by five points in a quarterfinal match. There's a fun thing about Antonio, the Italian girl. Um, you can't see it now, but I don't know if I met her 20 or 30 times. And I bet you I've seen her with 20 or 30 different hair colors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marcella it's a is a bit free blue, spirit. Blue right now. Yeah. She is a free spirit. She is. Part of what we enjoy about Marcella Tonioli. Big smile on her face almost oh, yeah. all the time you're around her. Enjoying life, enjoying the sport. She enjoyed her time in Medellin this past summer on the World Cup circuit, stage two. Won an individual bronze medal and a team bronze medal down in Colombia. Came close to winning the bronze medal. In the bronze medal match on Coney Alta Beach in Antalya, had to settle for fourth place, but did pick up uh, very important World Cup points that helped her get to where she is right now, straddling that line as we head to the third end in the second match, the World Cup Finals, and Marcella leading by two, 59-57. That is actually what we expect to see in the World Cup Finals, that one archer is taking out one point in the round. As long as they can take one point every round, it's very good shooting from that archer. It adds up. Yeah. Yes. No. Pandam yeah. opens with a nine, and yeah, Tony only yeah. counters with a ten, so there's what the I one point you were talking about. What I talked about, and, and again, you see uh, Antonioli's uh, target face. You see the group high up in the ten, and she dropped one, but it's still a ten. Nine. Sticks it in the nine ring, yeah. but needs to be shooting tens now as we're reaching the midway point of this match. 
Tony only with that yes. left eye closed. Strong anchoring oh. and strong shooting from yeah. Tony. See You've how steady she was? Boom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Focused, steady. Back-to-back -back tens for Tonioli, who's now widening out her lead. She's up by four. Ah, oh, down the middle. That's it. That's what we call a dead spider. For the judges to call, we got a little cross right in the middle of the target so they could put on the measurement and measure yes. the arrows and in case of a judge. Oh, yeah. That was perfect. Runs the table, tens across the board for Marcella Tonioli, who had to come up and in she, her mind with that shot just to match her opponent. She just did what all archers are shooting for. Three good shots, three strong shots, and three X's. A nice group right in the middle. And you can just tell from her body language the confidence that she's carried into this match, which she now leads by four points, 89 to 85. Yeah. Lily Shanu Panam it looks is, like is shooting well herself. Oh, yeah. It's not bad shooting. It's just that Antoli Tonelli is ahead of her. She's just, <laughs> I don't know the English word for it, over the top. She can't be beaten. That's the feeling she got right now. She's showing that, at yeah. least. As for Lily, this summer was a good one. A very consistent season for Lily Shanu Panam. Was in the top 10 in all three of the World Cup events that we had in Shanghai, Medellin, and Antalya. She finished ninth in China, was sixth in Colombia, and was ninth in Turkey. So three top 10 finishes, and all along the way, despite the fact she wasn't meddling Torben, she was picking no. up yeah. important World Cup points. Exactly, exactly. And I hope and don't, uh, Marcella and Tony has got some wins this year in the World Cup, or medals at least. Uh, yeah, she had that bronze medal that she won in Medellin. Yeah. So that was a big, big time for and her. And then she must have had the, the rest in the top 10 as well. She picked up points to go along with that. Yeah. Was able to uh, finish in that top seven. Only the top seven, and then of course the eighth archer in the field for men and women comes from the host nation. Nine. And we'll see that a little bit later on in the match featuring Sarah Holst Sonnenschen as she takes on Erika Anir, also from Denmark. Yeah. Yes. No. Nine by Lily and a no. No. hard to call it. Yeah, it looks yeah, like it might got be a little star again. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That <laughs> might be just grazing that yeah. line. Might be good enough for a ten. But right now the lead stays at four yeah. as. Panam puts it in the eight ring. Maybe picked up a little bit wind now. I can see that there's a little bit now. Maybe the archers feel it a little bit more than, <laughs> than is necessary. Tony only tough though. If the winds out there didn't affect her that time. No. Nope. You can see that scoreboard right down there beneath the targets indicating to the archers what the wind speed is and what direction it's coming from. Trying to process all that. They line up their shots. And is it going to be two tens and a nine or is it going to be two nines and a 10 for Marcella Tonioli? In any case, she's going to have a rather comfortable lead heading into the fifth end here at the King's Garden in Udnensa, Denmark. If the wind picks up, the archers got some flags. You see the flags on the top of the targets, uh, one red and one yellow. And uh, there actually is a few flags along the, the shooting line as well. And uh, you'll probably see uh, some archers using uh, a piece of bread from the stabilizer, the front stabilizer. And all that indicates for them if the wind picks up or uh, or, if, or if there is wind and the wind drops. So you've got mm -hmm. a, a wind hold you can shoot in. So um, they are actually, they're very concentrated on the stuff, not just hitting the middle, but they actually have to read the environment around them as well. You very often, you, uh, you listen for the trees because they whisper to you that the wind is coming. <laughs> And then you, you check your marks and your, uh, your flags and all that. So, so Torben, what you're telling me is you talk to the trees 
<laughs> well, they talk to I you. <laughs> uh, talk, uh, they might put me in the hospital now. <laughs> <laughs> After a few pints, I think I hear the trees too. <laughs> but maybe you need to be a little bit crazy to be an archer on this level. <laughs> Yeah, and you need to be able to process information like a computer because yes, <laughs> there's a lot of it coming in. Yep. So many things to think about. But the archers who can process all that and then block it all out, focus on that small, small, small little ten ring 50 meters away. Lily Shanu Panam from India needing a strong end right oh. here and hoping to get a little bit of help. But has to help herself. Nine's good. Ten would have been better. Much better. Especially in her situation yes. right now. Nine. I've been here, I've been. Yeah. Lead stays at six. Ten. Bonham puts it on the ten ring. How yes. steady that no, left arm is. Safe. Not wavering. Safe. <laughs> oh boy. Not a surprise. <laughs> She's solid as a rock. Now Lily nine. lets it fly. Lines up in the nine ring. She got a nice group going on there, but unfortunately a little bit too low. And there it is. She didn't need a whole lot, but she went for the whole enchilada and got it a 10 on her final shot. Marcella Tonioli comes up with a first round win here at the World Cup Finals, defeating Lily Shanu Panam of India. That was world class shooting. She actually put up a 147, dropped only three points. Three away from uh, a perfect score. On, under this pr uh, pressure, that's amazing. It's yeah. She looks wow. so calm, so peaceful, so composed and focused. Bodes well for what is to come for Marcella Tonioli later on today. So Marcella Tonioli, who defeated Lily Chenu Panam by five this past summer in World Cup action, comes away with another victory over her opponent from India. That's Put up a pretty strong fight, actually. Oh, yeah. But that's actually another thing that uh, archers, many archers that don't do com competition on this level, they uh, think that um, that these athletes, they're not nervous. They think they're so calm, they can just, nothing touches them. 